What's good, you guys? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back. Like I never left this mother. Yes, Sersky. All right, so you guys, man, we got Wyndham Williams sued and faces prison time. And Kevin Hunter, her ex-husband, says Wendy forces him to pay his... Well, no, 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 no. I got it backwards. He forces Wendy to pay his alimony back now. If this ain't the spicy... Bro, this is the spicy. Let's get it. Just when we thought that Wendy Williams' problems were reducing, Man, they appear to be Wendy doubling every single break. week. I mean, what do you mean the federal government has hit Wendy with charges on her New York City apartment she bought in 2021 wow. for $4.5 million? And what is Kevin Hunter doing back in court demanding that he should be paid two years in unpaid alimony? Child, given Wendy's condition, she really just needs to catch a break. This must be really exhausting for her. So the feds recently hit Wendy with a lawsuit claiming that she owes them over $5 500 k for federal taxes between 2019 and 2021. Records state that the lien was approved in January this year and was recorded with the New York City Department of Finance Dang. at the beginning of February. Of course, this is troubling for a number of reasons. At the top being the fact that Wendy's health struggles have recently come to light, including the fact that she's been diagnosed with aphasia and dementia. But it's also troubling because, like everyone else, I am also wondering, for her to be hit with such a lawsuit, where in the world did Wendy's mother money go because it's like it all disappeared as soon as she was placed under guardianship girl i know that there has been a lot of speculation about what's really happening with the guardianship because a lawsuit like this is really not something wendy should even be dealing with you see the family members already spoke to people magazine and said that they don't know where wendy is being treated they don't know what kind of treatments are taking place and they can't even contact her directly like they only hear from wendy if she calls and wanda even specifically said the people who love her cannot see her i think the big question is how the hell that we get here. The family members also said they blamed the lack of communication on Wendy's guardian, whose identity was previously private. And according to the family, the guardian is the only one with full access to Wendy. Later on, Alex Finney was on The View, claiming that they had no say on the guardianship. They had no way of communicating with Wendy about what was going on in the family, including her father being sick. And most times, it took up to months for the guardian to get back to them with any sort of information. All of a sudden, there was just this wall that went down uh -huh. and the family was blocked out it was in april of 2022 yeah. and the contact from that point on has been so limited. Reportedly, even Wendy's son Kevin Jr. was in the dark about what was going on, and an insider spilled to the son that he has no idea where his mom is being treated, saying Kevin has spoken to his mom occasionally, and he knows she's in some sort of treatment facility, but he's not sure exactly what it is or where it is. He is also questioning if she's getting the care she really needs. So you see how with Wendy being hit with a lawsuit, a lot of people would imagine it's because the guardian is being exploitative. But here's the thing, guys. Wendy's guardian Sabrina Morrissey was appointed sometime in spring 2022. So she came aboard after the tax violations. But don't get it twisted, loves. That does not mean that The Guardian hasn't been sketchy. First of all, Sabrina has a history of controversy herself, including an ongoing lawsuit in which she is accused of robbing a separate client of $30 million. Dang. And when it comes to Wendy, her close friend Regina Hall revealed Sabrina is in control of Wendy's money and how she can spend it. And she really Really doesn't like how that's been going down. Um, when I was in New York and staying with Wendy in the summer, I noticed when she would call, she had no access to her money. So every time she had to do anything that she had to pay for, she had to go through the Guardian. Regina also accused Sabrina of delaying her response and reaction time when she would respond at all. And she went on to explain that when Wendy would order her breakfast early in the morning, Sabrina would take the order, but sometimes it wouldn't show up until several hours later. And so Wendy wouldn't have any food. And when I went back to L.A., I would Dang, have to bro, send her food crazy. from Los Angeles to New York for through delivery service because she wasn't get the communication wasn't there and she had no other access to money than this guardian so it's not like the guardian is clean and she could possibly be milking wendy dry but sadly that's not even the only thing wendy has to worry about because kevin has taken her back to court again child is he not getting tired of dragging wendy to court at this point it's becoming really exhausting because kevin is really doing the most anyway before going to court to demand that he should be paid two years worth of alimony kevin was already 
already in court a few days earlier demanding to see all of Wendy's financial records. In the court document that he filed, he said that on December 8, 2022, he attended a mediation with Wendy's counsel and Wendy's New York court appointed guardian attorney Sabrina Morrissey. And in that mediation, Wendy's counsel and guardian agreed to provide statements to accounts and bank records they claimed to have gotten permission from the New York court to provide. Kevin then said that despite supposed assurances from Wendy's guardian and her attorney that they would provide him with Wendy's bank records, they never materialized. So by December 19th, after reportedly failing to get any further correspondence from Wendy's team, Kevin said he emailed the mediator and copied all parties addressing lack of transparency and bad faith in their lack of honesty and mediation. Apparently, he continued reaching out without further communication from Wendy's team regarding his request for Wendy's financial records when finally on February 8th, 2023, a letter was received from Wendy's counsel stating that the Guardian was only providing bank statements for the months of November and December of 2022. Kevin also claims that the offer to review the two months of Wendy's bank statements had other stipulations attached that were not previously discussed or agreed to, adding, the letter further stated that I could only review the documents in the mediator's office. This was not the agreement. The agreement was from all the records from the date of dissolution until current. Now Kevin is back in court saying that since the mediation has failed, he wants the court to intervene and make sure that he receives two years worth of cash. In the court documents he filed, he said, I rely on the severance pay for my living expenses and having been without this income for 23 months has affected me greatly. He also asked Wendy to immediately pay all severance payments, which may be due and owing at the time of his court's order. In addition, Kevin is also seeking to execute documents pertaining to Wendy's after a retirement plan. As he has also said in the court documents, I also respectfully request that the court compel the plaintiff to sign the qualified domestic relations order for the after retirement plan or in the alternative, appoint me an attorney, in fact, so that I can execute the document if the plaintiff does not sign the document within seven days of this court's order. I would not have to file this motion if the plaintiff did not stop my severance payments and if the plaintiff would have signed the qualified domestic relations order for the after retirement plan. Okay, I have said this a couple of times before and I think it has also been made pretty clear that Wendy doesn't even have the money Kevin is demanding. I have no money. And I'm going to tell you something. That's what I'm thinking. If it happens to me, it could happen to you. Even Kevin Jr., who previously lived in luxury and enjoyed the financial perks of growing up as the only son of Wendy, is now living a much different life. Based on reports, he was spotted driving around Miami in what appeared to be a rather beat up 2019 Honda Civic while attending school. And as for what he does to at least stay afloat, he promotes various parties he's throwing around town for cash. The only thing Kev Jr. has now is a 529 plan that his mother set up for him, which has limited and set funds that he has access to as he is currently enrolled as a full-time student at Barry University. So when Kevin is demanding money, I really don't know where he wants it to come from. But hear me out with Kevin on, which is, I really want to know where Wendy's money went. Like, for real, for real. Kevin's argument is that when Wendy's bank first petitioned to start guardianship proceedings, her Wells Fargo account had a lot of money. And the time her Wells Fargo accounts were frozen and the time Kevin claims Wendy had no money left was just under a year. So according to Kevin, then it doesn't make sense that the money disappeared within the year. Kevin is saying that Wendy had enough money when they divorced to pay him out in one shot at that point and that she had enough even in the guardianship agreement to pay him out. Baby, not that I'm on board with Kevin demanding two years worth of cash, but I'm also questioning why Wendy is so broke. Did the guardian steal all her money? Has she paid the amount being owed in the lawsuit? It's really just a lot of questions that are giving exploitation and Kevin isn't making anything better by also demanding more money. At this point, the whole Wendy situation is just sad. But let me know what you think about her being sued and Kevin once again taking her to court in the comments. Man, man, Kevin, man, come on, give give Wendy a break, bro. Give Wendy a break, Kev, man. She already being sued by the feds. Then you got the Miss Sabrina Guardian lady stealing her money. She's not eating. Her friend had to send her food from New York to L.A. And now you're trying to get more money and she's trying to provide for y'all son while he's in college. Bro, this is this is crazy, bro. This is crazy, man. We have to pray for Wendy Williams, you guys. We have to. Regardless of how we may feel about her. But Kevin, bro, how you want some back alimony? This what after alimony was all be alimony come from 
being, you had to have like evidence that you were cheated on or something, right? I didn't know you could just get alimony because y'all separated. This is crazy. Kevin, you need to take a chill pill, my boy. Take a chill pill.